members, President Waterman and Board of Education members. I am Ronald Greco, 36 Duncan Avenue, Jersey City. Been at Lincoln High School. I met Mr. DeRosa in the fall of 1996, and I've known him ever since. That's where I've been. That's my home, Lincoln High School, 60 Crescent Avenue. I want to tell you about a high school with highly motivated students, very innovative staff, and an administration, administration that's eager to implement change and foster a positive learning environment. This past fall, students and faculty from Lincoln High School participated in the Juvenile Diabetes Walk in Liberty State Park and raised a substantial sum of money. Football season, so the Lincoln Lions come back with a record nine for three. Played the state championship final at Giant Stadium, which many of you were present. Girls basketball team this year went on to the state playoffs. Our track team consistently sends athletes down to the Penn Relays. And currently, they are training for the sectionals in Hudson County. Softball team this year, record 17-6, county playoffs the last two years. They defeated Dickinson High School this year, which is a big uh, accomplishment for Lincoln High School. Young Gentlemen's Club, who was showcased tonight. Every Thanksgiving, they give less fortunate families in this community turkey dinners with all the fixings for a nice Thanksgiving meal with the assistance of the Young Ladies Club, who at Christmas do a very large scale toy drive for children in the community that are in need of gifts from Santa Claus. This year alone, more students have been enthusiastic and involved in extracurricular activities and athletics at Lincoln High School. We've had a successful Saturday HSPA Institute. We've had an algebra tutorial program for the end of course assessment, which has been implemented. We had a phenomenal talent show. I know some of you were there. We raised money for the senior class. Currently, we have students that have artwork on display in City Hall. And beginning next week, a lot of our artists will be showcasing their work at the Lowe's Theater. Finally, last week, we had the junior prom. We had the New Jersey Education Association that was at Lincoln High School, and they filmed our students for classroom close-up, reading poetry. Miss Lester, you were a part of that, and Mr. Waterman, you were there for that. Culminating a great week is Friday evening, Lincoln High School National Honor Society dinner. Induction banquet was different this year, change of venue. We were at the Hudson County Community College Culinary Center. Best and brightest of Lincoln High School you saw them on display. Mr. Waterman, I made a comment to you. You keep getting one surprise after the other about Lincoln High School. And it's positive. It's positive. Unfortunately, test scores are not exactly where they should be. And under No Child Left Behind, we have to have a grant written. But what perplexes me in the staff of Lincoln High School is that our signatures are in here. We were never told that our signatures would be placed in this grant booklet. We attended a faculty meeting where we signed for a needs assessment. Quite honestly, I didn't take that assessment online. I never got around to it. The names were in here without the staff's consent, and a lot of people are upset about that. There's language in here saying that the staff has created a toxic and poisonous learning environment. I take issue with that as do the staff members at Lincoln High School, as do members of the Parent-Teacher Association. It's insulting. We have teachers that go there each and every day, and students that go each and every day and work their hearts out. <laughs> Due to circumstances beyond our control, some administrators and an athletic director were removed from the school. They were never replaced. We have two buildings running with a very, very dedicated administrative team. And I say it again, a dedicated administrative team and faculty that picked up the ball and are filling in, filling in the blanks and picking up, picking up the weight and running with it. Unfortunately, creativity is stifled in, the, in this school. Any fresh ideas are frowned upon, and if you don't go with the cookie cutter model, we're scolded and told we ought to be ashamed of ourselves. And I know I'm out of time, Mr. Morgan, so I'll close with this remark. I don't see the two people who I believe authored this, 
but I've spoken to them face to face. The JCEA, the Parent Teacher Association, the students and the staff were not consulted with this. This is a farce. And furthermore, I'll have you know for public record, okay, it's very, it, it, it alerts most of us that someone's identity may have been taken away from them or their individuality. Because we do have a signature in here that is not authentic of the person it represents. That's all I'll say. The union will be getting back to you because we are receiving some legal opinions on this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Greco. Let me say thank you for that, Mr. Greco. Certain things I'm unaware of as well. We'll look into that. I promise you that. We will definitely look into that. Uh, Mr. Robert Chikini, please.